X. X uncoiler. Uh, shopping. See Pex uncoiler. That's what I'm looking at. Wait, what the hell? That can't be right. What? Are you kidding me? Seven hundred and thirty dollars. Seven hundred and forty dollars. Seven hundred and thirty dollars. $400, $300, $835, dollars for a freaking Pex uncoiler? Are you kidding me? It's got to be a cheaper way. I'll bet I can build one. Okay, here's the list from a big box store. Why don't we go out here? I've got uh, three pieces of two by four. I've got a box of screws. If you've got screws already, fine, use your own. This is just we're just going to build this cheap. Um, so assuming you had to buy everything, you got to buy a box of screws. I had screws, so I didn't have to buy them, but I put them on the list. So you want some two and a half inch uh, long deck screws. And then you need you need yourself some one inch uh, flathead screws. Uh, you're going to need eight. There's a 12 pack for a buck 38. So I picked that, picked that out. You're going to need a bucket, a Homer bucket or a Lowe's bucket. Doesn't really matter. You need a five gallon bucket. Who you get your stuff from, don't care. You're gonna need yourself a piece of 19 30 seconds inch or three quarter inch plywood. Get good plywood. This is this is the, the bulk cost. This is the most expensive part that you need. You gotta get a good one. Yeah, it's a four by eight sheet. When you're in the store, when you're in the big box store, have them cut it. Uh, cut it right in half so you get two four by four sheets and then you're gonna only use one of them and you're gonna do whatever you want with that. But you know, my point is buy, buy it and you got other things you can use. Cause you're gonna use this once or twice and then you're gonna tear it apart and use the lumber for something else. Uh, and this is the heart. You're gonna need a, a Lazy Susan. This big box store has one. Uh, well, I guess we all know who it is. I just don't wanna use their name. Uh, they've got one 400 pound load rating ever built, six inch square and it's five bucks. Okay, and then um, coming down, down here to this slump. Now, I had these screws in stock. I didn't need to buy them. I had a bucket. I didn't need to buy it. Um, and uh, I didn't need to buy that. So, whoop, don't know what just happened. The screen flashed. We're going to go back to that list. Now, um, this here, this prime white wood stud lumber, I bought cheap lumber. I bought what's called coal lumber. I bought the, the purple stuff. So, you don't even have to spend that much money because this is just junk that's going to be used to build a tool. The cost to buy all of this brand new is 70 bucks. My particular cost was uh, about $60 because I didn't need all of this stuff. So there's your parts list. All right, let's go build it. Okay, if you got a nice saw, this is going to help a lot. If not, well, that's too bad. Do it on your own. Anyway, here's a picture of the cold lumber. See the blue spot or the purple spot? That means it's cheap. I'm not going to detail exactly how to build this. I'm sure you're smart enough to know how to work a screwdriver and a, a drill and a screw drill and a saw. But anyway, here's my Lazy Susan. Basically, you're going to take the 2 by 4s cut them up, build a freaking frame, and then you're going to screw that Lazy Susan onto the top. So here I am showing how to put a screw into wood. I know you can figure out eventually you're going to get a frame that kind of looks like this and you want to screw your Lazy Susan right down into the very center of it. You're going to want to measure across that Lazy Susan so you got the distance. Anyway, take that big uh, 4x4 sheet of plywood, put a screw in the middle, take a string, make a big damn circle. That's going to be like a compass thing and then you take your jigsaw and you cut the corners off and now you got a big old circle then go ahead and take the string and make it half the distance of across the screw holes on the lazy susan put that back in the middle make another circle that gives you a place to mark where your screws are going to be then go ahead and take that big flat round piece of plywood and slap it on top of your lazy susan uh, flip it over upside down run the screws in and you're good then you're going to go ahead and take that Home Depot bucket or your Lowe's bucket and you're going to screw it right on top in the center of the Lazy Susan. This really is not a hard project to do. It took me about 45 minutes to figure out and put it together. There's a picture of the string. I'm sure you can figure this out. It's really not very hard. Just takes a little bit of thinking. But when it's all said and done, you got yourself an awesome badass unroller. Once it's uh, done, screw your Homer bucket onto it, upside down, and 
you have your very own $50 Peck Sun Spooler. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't even have to be pretty, it just has to work. That's about easy as it can possibly get. Holy shit, I'm so glad I built that. So, my $50 Pexon roller, or 60 bucks basically, works really well.